hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing okay i hope you guys are fine so today i'm going to start a series of videos of powershell just an observation here these videos are just for english speakers i'm not going to do it in portuguese or spanish or polish or french or russian or any other language this will be just for English speakers all right why I decided to do this video of PowerShell well uh, in the last years PowerShell has been used for by hackers for hacking all right F by pen testers to you know and I decided to start a series of videos from the basics of PowerShell and then we are going to build some networking to automation like socket stuff alright so the first video is we are going to download the last up the last version of PowerShell uh, well at least you have to you need to have Windows 7 right Pro at least and then Windows 8 or Windows 10 I'm going to open my control panel here and then I'm going to programs actually turn Windows features on or off and then I will select you guys have to select PowerShell 2.0 but this is not the last version of PowerShell okay but you have to activate this service all right after choosing you just press ok and then it's going to ask you to confirm and then it's going to the powershell will be activated now what we are going to do is you have to go to this website from microsoft okay and then here you have two versions of powershell 64 bit and 86 bit so I'm using my operating system is 64 bits so I will open it and I will download the version I downloaded it before as you guys can see here okay so it's a normal installation alright so next and will ask me to repair I'm going to do that and let me back here I will remove and they will make the in I will install it again uh, why because uh, there is few stuff that we have to pay attention in PowerShell okay uh, first this is the version 7.3 okay next and then here the pro program files PowerShell okay here I like to enable remoting and I like to I add it to open here context the menu to Explorer all right so I'm going to fill the forms all right enable updating through Microsoft so I I'm using a Windows 10 Pro version its original version so I have no problem updating it all right so next and then install it's going to be installed and here if you want it could launch for me but no I don't want done so if I click here PowerShell 7 is already here you see I can open normally and then I can open as administrator to have some privileges okay and also it's here right here it's pinned over here so I'm going to click open as administrator for me open like this because I configured it before in properties alright to be like the original one the, to the zero like this actually the yeah so let me take it from here colors uh, dark blue right let me see here if I have this uh, actually I don't know properties and then the layout colors 
the values is one oh jeez all right i want to to let us the same as the oldest one well, for me it's the, the nicest terminal <laughs> colors i've ever seen so one third six eight six so yeah it's going to be like that all right so yeah i have the version two okay and then i have the version seven so simple thing we just type help to get some help from the powershell and here we can get more and more we can save we can update we can get well i work with azure so get All right um, as a connect right, so and I will try oops uh, actually no as the login sorry yeah and here is going to open the browser I don't want to show you guys my account of course but uh, there is few other commands that we are going to see all right so uh, here on PowerShell both commands works Linux commands and Windows on CMD commands like uh, help it's an example alright so CLS will clear and clear will clear as well right and F config no sorry IP config and here I have this is the pretty much the same terminal as we have on CMD but there we can create scripts to automate tasks on Windows for networking and many other stuff right so this is the first video and I hope you guys liked it so if you like subscribe to my channel and wait for more because on this week I'm going to do the next one Alright, thanks a lot again. If you like, just give me a like, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and see you guys on the next video.